Hey guys, here's part two on how to balance out a brush's gimbal. So part two is how to balance out the roll axis. So the roll axis is actually very easy too. So once you have your tilt axis balanced properly, you're gonna want to proceed to step two is balancing the roll. So you can see the roll adjustment is right back here. So depending on what gimbal you have, once again, my DYS gimbal has four screws right here. And what you wanna do is First off, you want to balance out horizontally, which is leave the camera level. See which way it falls. Right now, I have it balanced out. If it falls towards one side, that means it's too heavy. So let me quickly debalance out my gimbal and show you guys what I'm trying to say. So I let go. Oh, look at that. It falls towards one side. That means I have too much weight on one side of the gimbal. So loose my quick release plate. And depending on what gimbal you have and what setup you're using, uh, most gimbals does not have a quick release plate. This is optional on the gimbal that I'm using here. But you want to move your camera left or right, which is usually done by the two back here. So you want to loosen up this four screws, slide this tube back and forth until you get it balanced out just right. And wherever you leave, you know, like so, it should stay there. If it falls towards the one side, quickly, sometimes I like to test it by holding the handles, giving a quick little wiggle like so to kind of fool the magnetic cogging of the motors. And if the motors, if the camera falls towards one side, that means it's still heavy. And the roll is very important. Sometimes it takes like one to two millimeter movements to balance it out like so. Now, once you have the horizontal balance out, you're gonna to want to proceed to the vertical balance right here. Now, when you hold your camera sideways like so, see which way it falls. Right now I have my roll balanced out already so you guys can't really see which way it's gonna fall. But if you notice your gimbal fall back towards the side, that means your bottom heavy. If you're noticed when you let go and it fall towards the top side, that means your top heavy. And what this means is, you see this tube here? You want this tube to be pretty much perpendicular with this tube. If this tube is somewhat skewed up like so, that's gonna put more weight on top. If this arm or tube is skewed down, that means you have too much weight in the bottom. So that's either top heavy or bottom heavy. So you want to make it just right. Sometimes you want, you want to eyeball it and then try it out and make very, very fine adjustments. Move it up, move it down, tighten down the screws and keep on doing it until wherever you leave your camera, it's going to stay right on that axis. And sometimes when you have a bunch of wires and you have, you know, too much force, it's going to move towards the one side. So make sure you balance it out without having all these wires pushed down like so. And also when you're, you know, make sure you remove your lens cap. Um, if you're using a lens filter, make sure it's installed. If you can be using USB cables, HDMI th cables through here for external monitor, make sure you have all of those cables already installed onto the camera because any little weight would throw off the balance once again. So make sure you balance out. And once you have, you can see it's still a little bit heavy towards this side right here. So let me loosen up my quick release plate, slide it over one to two millimeters, and voila, you let, let it go. It should stay right there on his axis, and that means you have a well-tuned roll axis. So that was part two on how to balance out the roll axis. Uh, please watch part three on how to balance out the pan axis, which is the most critical axis of the tilt and the roll. So thanks for watching, guys.